Hello, Internet. Today I show you mushrooms two. Mushroom one, an oyster. So I was just driving down the road and I saw this mushroom hanging out on a tree and I thought I would show it to you. So this is an oyster mushroom. The Latin name, and I'm going to mispronounce it terribly, is Pleurotus oysteratus. So oysters are primary saprophobes, which means that they grow on standing dead wood. Dead wood that hasn't been decomposed by anybody yet. So they're the first decomposers, which means they play a really, really important role in the cycling of nutrients in an ecosystem. Oysters grow on hardwoods predominantly, and they have really beautiful gills. I love the way that the light shines through them, it makes them look rather angelic. So this oyster is rather old. You can see that some creatures have been eating it here and back here. So I'm not going to pick this guy because it would be pretty tough and rubbery, but it's really worth admiring. Wow, look at those gills. They're just so iridescent. Mushroom too. A woodier. So I am right on the banks of the Hudson River and there's a really cool mushroom growing on the water's edge. Let me show you. So here's a beech tree. It's jutting out onto the water and its roots are running along here. And here we have some wood ear mushrooms. Let me zoom in. So the very easily mispronounceable genus of this mushroom is Oriolaria. So I'm gonna call it wood ear. You can kind of imagine that they look like ears growing out of a log. I don't know. Wood ear is a basidiomycete, meaning it's related to the like mushroom-shaped agarics that most people are familiar with, although it looks nothing like them. And it's actually edible. It's not eaten very much in the West because it's kind of crunchy and doesn't have that much flavor, but it's often used in Asian dishes like hot and sour soup. It's supposed to be good for colds, apparently. I'm kind of skeptical, but it's, uh, it's a nice, it has a nice kind of mushroomy texture. It's a pretty cool mushroom. So yeah, this is Woodier Oyularia. It is edible, although crunchy, and needs to cook for a long time. Great in soups, grows on elder, and rarely, as in this case, beach. Thanks for watching. Hooray! If you like this and want to learn more about plants and mushrooms and other sorts of things that I think are interesting, then you can click this button here, and more of my brain will get into yours over time. And that's a kind of cool thing. Bye-bye.